Hello everyone, I'm Gareth Masterman 74 here today and welcome to another Valve Hammer tutorial. This time I'm doing a revisiting slash update of an old Hammer tutorial I did many years ago on this channel and this concerns how you fix cube map reflections in your Valve maps. So back when I did it I kind of sounded depressed and I kind of didn't even show you the steps in the proper order and it didn't quite work out too well. So I thought I could come back to this today and show you a new method I found at least, which works in Half-Life 2 at the very least and it should work in any Valve game and also how you go about doing the steps correctly and how you know it's worked. So first things first you want to create your map and you want to you populate your map with these end cube map entities. This is what materials in game use to base their reflections off of. Um, as you can see here there's quite a few near water textures uh, and this is the subterranean map from Half-Life 2 beta specifically the City 17 mod if you want to know this map um, which I think looks pretty nice but um, once you have your map and you have your end cube maps placed what you want to do is go to file and run map or F9 and then you should see a menu that looks a bit like this this is the normal compile window, we don't want to be using this, we actually want to use the expert compile window and it should look a little bit like this. I automatically have my settings to HDR full compile dash final, though you can change it to whatever you see fit. I say HDR full compile dash final because it's the official version of the map, it's going to do the most and it'll be com most complete and all that, but it's down to you what you want to use. But um, what you want to do is click on new, this does a new command and we want to move it up to so it's above copy file but below light underscore exe. We want to check the little checkbox to enable the command and the command we want to use is bspzip.exe like so and then we want to under parameters put dash delete cube maps. And what this does is it runs the command delete cube maps. So all of the cube maps that were built, which are wrong, are now going to get deleted by using this command. And where do we want to delete cube maps from? Well, we want to delete it from dollar sign path backslash dollar sign file dot bsp. So it's for any generic path and for any generic name dot bsp. So this would delete all the cube maps so once we load our map in game it's not going to have any cube maps whatsoever so we can build fresh ones from in game so i'm going to let this compile it's going to take a little while and i'll show you what you have to do in game and how you know it's worked okay so after your map has compiled what you should see is that at the very end here it says opening bsp file x cube maps deleted where x is a number of cube maps that are in your map that get deleted and it updates the bsp file basically this means that all of the cube maps that were built have now been deleted due to bspzip.exe so what i'm going to do now is actually go into my game and show you what it is that you need to do while in game to doubly check to make sure that your uh, cube maps have not been built properly and how you can go about building cube maps properly. So what you should notice if you play your level is specifically on all of the models, the cube maps should not have built properly. As you can see here on the wood, the reflections look awful. That's basically using a default reflection and it happens on practically every single model that uses reflections. But um, of course, not on the textures. But this basically means that there's no cube map reflections. So you should even see in the console as well that it says, you know, it just can't find these textures that relate to the cube maps. So what you want to do what to fix this is type in mat underscore specular zero to turn off reflections completely. Once this is done, you want to go and actually go to mat HDR level and then type in zero. This puts the game into LDR mode. We need to build cube maps in LDR mode for cube maps to work properly in HDR mode. So for reasons, you want to build LDR cube maps. So just type in build cube maps and it looks like this. It should save all these cube maps to .tga files. And then once that's done, 
you want to type in mat underscore HGR level then two this puts on full HGR mode and again just want to type in build cube maps you should know when it's done right because it should look a bit um, slow when you build it that means it's doing the HGR cube maps correctly and once that is done you want to type in mat specular one to turn reflections back on and I like to do mat underscore reload all materials just to be sure and also restart to be absolutely sure but what this should do is for all textures and all models that use uh, reflections to any capacity you should see reflections working correctly so as we should see uh, specifically on like metal and water textures there should be cube maps that are accurate um, maybe this map wasn't the best to demonstrate but um, you should see the water kind of reflects properly you can even drop down here and you should see how it reflects the world it, I think water is one of those textures that actually builds somewhat correctly to begin with but um, all of the male models should have accurate uh, reflections I'm trying to find a texture that would actually reflect but um, because this is a Half-Life 2 beta map I don't think there's very many uh, textures that actually have reflections um, take an area like up here for instance then you kind of see in the window there's that reflectivity going on that's uh, a texture that's using cube maps to basically create reflections so you can see stuff like that that means that cube maps have actually worked correctly because uh, normally your textures won't show reflections at all but by doing this they should show reflections properly and it looks like in this building in particular uh, especially for these upper windows the Q map seems to have been built correctly which is exactly what you want um, but of course if you don't see reflections then it could be down to bad placement or some other reason this bus for instance you shouldn't be able to go here but you see there's reflections going on this would just be blank if uh, you didn't do BBS, sorry, BSP zip.exe and deleted all the uh, or the material, the textures out of it but um, that's basically how you go ahead and fix reflections so that basically makes it so you don't have to go down the route of downloading Packrat and downloading JavaScript as well to use it um, here for instance you see the railings have a bit of a cube maps going on so that is essentially my updated guide on how you can go about fixing QMAP reflections in your levels you don't have to download anything all you need is to make sure that you have bspzip.exe which is an executable file that should exist in your game directory for whatever game you're mapping for it should exist if it doesn't exist then I'm not 100% sure of what to recommend other than you know use Packrat and go down that route because that definitely works but for this this is all you need to do I've showed you that it works and to doubly make sure it works you can even do impulse 81 this gives you the cube map weapon in Half-Life 2 and it should show you reflections based off of uh, cube map locations so all of the spheres reflect correctly which is exactly what you want because three of them would actually not reflect anything but now all of them are so that's another surefire way that your cube map reflections are working properly so I hope you found this very helpful today um, and if you really want to know I believe it's bsp.exe that causes these cube map mess ups to begin with so if you want to not even follow this tutorial then you're probably going to have to figure out a way of building your own vbsp.exe application and make it so it fixes qmap reflections on building of the map so you don't even need to do a tutorial like this but i have no idea how to do that and to be honest i 
don't really care to because you can just do this simple test and it works so you don't even need to download anything online and all of the cube maps in your map get deleted so hopefully you've enjoyed this video you found it helpful hopefully it's better than the last video i did the, the previous tutorial from many years ago uh, let me know in the comments if you found this helpful if any games in particular that don't actually have bsp vbsp.exe uh, for instance you got vbsp.exe in black mesa i mean bsp zip excuse me but yeah you got bsp zip in black mesa we can go to well counter strike sources nothing gary's mods you can go under bin you can see there's bsp zip.exe in gary's mods um half-life 2 deathmatch i don't have anything there but you know what i'm saying you should really check to see if you have vbsp sorry bsp zip i keep saying it's vbsp.exe no it's bsp zip if it has that then you're good that means you can do it because it runs properly looks like left for dead doesn't but again where are all, all the dll's here unless i don't have it installed but anyway i'm rambling at this point Thank you for watching, hope you found this helpful and see you later.